Hi guys, it's Shanae and welcome to the L'Oreal Paris Beauty K series. Today I've been challenged to do a themed look and I've got no idea what it is, but I'm actually pretty excited and a little bit nervous to see what I have to create. So I've actually got the beauty case here right in front of me. I'll just open it up. Okay, so we've got the European Summer Escape. So I'm thinking very dewy, glowing skin. Um, I think I'm going to use a lot of highlighter today, which I'm pretty sure we all do because it's everyone's favorite product. So we've actually got a drawer here, which I'm going to open up. And I can already see there's some highlighters in here, which I love these two highlighters. I think I might actually mix and match both of these with the look today. And we've also got some lip glosses. These are so beautiful. I love a good gloss, especially for that really warm, dewy European kind of look. So with all that said, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to jump in with is my base and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Base Magic today. And I just like to place this kind of on the T-zone area and just around the cheek area as well. And if you do have any fine lines or struggle with um, smile lines as well, which I do because my foundation always creases right in here. I like to use the leftover just right in there. So next I'm going to jump in with this liquid illuminator and I think I'm actually going to mix it in with my foundation today just to give a really nice European kind of glow. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match. I do have two colours here so I think I might mix and match today just to get the perfect shade for my fake tan skin. My nose and what is ever left, I'm just going to put it on my chin. And I'm just going to grab a buffing brush for my foundation today. So I think I've got a light enough base down. It is still kind of full coverage, but I do have some freckles peeking through, but I think I'm actually going to leave them because I want this look to be a little bit more on the natural side. Okay, so now I'm going to jump into concealer. So this one is a little bit lighter than my foundation, which I do like because I like to highlight these areas under the eyes. So I'm just going to create like a triangle shape under the eye. So bring it all the way out. This gives the illusion of a slimmer nose as well. So I like to do this. And I'm also going to put this concealer on my chin, a little bit around the mouth. This highlights the area. Cupid's bow and a little bit on the forehead. And you can also do down the nose as well. Going to move on to powder just to set the face. So I'm just going to use a L'Oreal True Match powder today. I'm just going to use a small tapered brush to do this. Just tap off the excess. I'm going to quickly set around the mouth because I crease here. And also just set under the eyes, again, to avoid the creasing that might happen. If you quickly set it, it shouldn't crease, so... I like to do these areas first. And the forehead, and we'll put a little bit on the chin. So now I'm going to jump in with the bronzer. I think I might actually use a duo fibre brush today, just because it is less dense. And I'm going to use this kind of, like, on the cheekbone area. And just kind of remember the C shape. So I like to go like from here to here to like under the jawline. I like to put a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my forehead. So now I'm going to go back to the True Match highlight. I'm going to use this one as a base for the powder highlighter because I want a really kind of intense highlighted look. I just want it to be very glowing and dewy just like we're laying on the beach somewhere. And don't be afraid to bring this up onto the temples as well. So now I'm going to jump in with my powder highlighter. So I do have two options here. I'm definitely going to mix these two together. I'm just going to use my tapered brush again and I'm going to focus more on the pink and yellow shades. And just place that right on top. Now I'm going to take this one, which is a little bit brighter. So I'm going to focus on the lighter shade in here. So there is like a champagne white color. And I'm going to focus this right on the top. You can see that one is blinding. So we'll just blend it out a little bit. 
I'm just going to take an eye brush and I'm going to focus on the white champagne shade and I'm going to highlight my inner corners while I'm here. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the brows now. I just want to bring a little bit more structure back to my face before I move on to the eye makeup. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit and I'm just going to dip into powder. I'm going to start from the arch of my brow because I want this place to be the darkest. And as you're going through the brows, don't be afraid to kind of brush the product through to soften it out. So coming into the front of the brows, I like to go a little bit lighter just so it doesn't look too harsh and just really kind of slightly blend it into the hairs and brushing the hairs upwards will make it look more fuller as well. So now I'm going to do the eye makeup and I'm going to jump into a L'Oreal eyeshadow quad. So I'm just going to open this up. It's got some beautiful gold colours in here. I think I'm going to focus more on this shade and the gold shade. So while I'm here, I'm going to grab this one very lightly. I just want to bring a little bit of definition to the eye look. So I'm going to use this into the crease. I'm just going to start blending that through. I just want a little bit of definition. I almost want to make this look, look wet. So I'm going to be using a lot of gloss on the face as well and also the eye area. So I'm going to take the same colour just on a pencil brush and I'm going to join this colour on the lower lash line just to really smoke it out. So we're just joining that up on the outer corner and if you do need to blend it out really quickly, just give it a quick blend so it's not harsh. I'm now going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to dip into the gold shadow and I'm just going to place this on the centre of the eye. I already feel like I'm somewhere on the beach just chilling out. And going back to this highlighter. I'm going to jump into one of the lip glosses as well. I want to take this peachy one right here. And I want to make this look even more kind of sun dipped and really wet. So I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. I'm just going to tap with my finger. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on my eye as well. And throw a little bit on the brow bone as well, just to really catch that light when we move. So I'm going to bring a little bit more definition to the eyes. So I'm just going to grab a brown pencil. I'm going to warm this up on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to put this in the waterline. And don't be afraid to kind of rub this on the lower lash line as well. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to use some mascara. I'm just going to jump into this one right here and this will complete the look, I'm telling you right now. So by the way, this mascara is the feline mascara. You can tell it's really good at lengthening those outer corners. That's why I like the shape of this brush, just because you can really get right in here without getting black all over your eye. I'm going to jump into this lip gloss and I'm actually going to use it on my face, which is a little bit different. And I'm going to start applying this to the high points of my face and even kind of like the cheek area because it does have a peachy tone to it, it should be fine. I literally want to look like I've jumped in water and I'm just like blowing really beautifully. So I think if you wear this look, someone's going to at least think you've come back from Europe. Well, I hope so anyway, because when I wear this, I feel like I've been to the French Riviera, been laying in the sun, having a few cocktails. So the lip liner I'm using is Beige Anu, and I'm just going to stop at the Cupid's Bow. And I like to put a few lines on the lips as well, just to kind of spread that color around. Moving on to the balm, I'm just going to quickly lay this on. And it's a beautiful peach colour. That lip liner and this lip balm work really well together. And to finish off, I'm going to use this beautiful peachy lip gloss. Just going to smack that on. 
going to jump back into the powder highlighter and I'm just going to use my shadow brush. I'm just going to dip into that one. And just kind of frost the lips a little bit. Just where the cupid bow hits. Okay, so this is the final look. So I'm going to go get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've finished off the look with a crisp white shirt and some sleek accessories. I also did put a little bit of highlighter just on the collarbone area. So I'm just going with a really beautiful and relaxed look today. So I'm going to grab the L'Oreal Al Aviv Extraordinary Oil. So just a little bit, I'm going to rub it just like that. And I'm going to focus this on the bottoms. I really want to separate those ends. And it smells really nice as well. And then whatever's left, I'm just going to kind of rough up the top. And if you want to hold this a little bit better, you can go in with a hairspray as well. So I've got this one. I'm just going to lightly kind of go through. And now we're ready for our summer getaway on the beach somewhere in Europe with a very handsome man. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Beauty Case as much as I did. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the L'Oreal Paris Beauty Room for more challenges in the future. And I hope I see you guys really soon. Bye.